Beginning this morning, city staff moved in. There were at least two dozen Vancouver police officers, park rangers, and even Vancouver fire on scene. As you can see, they established a fence perimeter around the encampment area and uh, they're allowing no public access so you're getting a few advocates in there and the people helping the residents remove their stuff over here you can see at least a dozen advocates who have been here all day supervising monitoring the situation helping the residents where they can and they say that for the residents it's been a violating experience to to essentially be forcibly removed from a place that some of them have lived for three years or so. It has been calm all day and uh, city staff say that everybody has been offered good housing. It's uh, is it self-contained or or has its own washroom, which we know is very important. And uh, and so these are good operators. They're good buildings. In some cases, they're city-owned buildings uh, with nonprofit operators. Uh, so it's been a, a they're, they're thoughtful and, and careful offers. One resident here says he's quite happy with the accommodation that he's been offered. As far as hotel rooms goes, it's, it's, it's similar size and same amenities. Uh, things I could have probably used here, you know, electricity, running water, stuff that makes life a little bit easier to get up and go to work every day. But uh, there's actually a garden right as I walk into my place. I'm really happy about that. This area has been for three and a half years in its various forms a, a hub of a community has developed around this encampment and uh, some of the former residents here are on site watching everything happen and they say in some cases they actually they miss it they miss being in this community and everything that it offered now city staff say this area will be returned to general public use after today people can still set up tents here at night as they can in any vancouver park but during the day this will be cleared and returned to public use rafferty baker cbc news vancouver